All right, so what drew you to a career in public health? Well, we do social service, and um, I've always been really passionate about making sure that people who are less fortunate have what they need or included in community, the diversity, the just social justice issues, um, inclusion, yeah. Okay. What types of project have you helped coordinate or helped with this past year? Well, we just opened um, a food distribution center up on um, 21st and Opportunity Drive, and we moved our two food programs. We have the largest food pantry in the area that focuses on nutritional balance, and then a commodity supplemental food program for elders, um, 16 and above, in 11 counties in South Central Kansas. And we were in really small, worn out buildings, and we mm -hmm. did a capital campaign and moved those programs up into that new facility, a former Cessna training facility that we remodeled. And so much easier access for folks who need that nutrition and access for nutrition in their homes. Mm -hmm. um, but also it's around um, other nonprofits. And so that collaboration piece of being closer and hopefully those families that use those others that might need would be um, more accessible. Um, I'm also aware of the growing needs of hunger and mm -hmm. students with um, on universities and WSU is close there and so um, doing that partnership with we hope uh, to strengthen the partnership then with WSU and meeting those needs and maybe some volunteerism and those kinds of things. Perfect. Um, what are your future aspirations for public health? You know, it'd be great to work ourselves out of a job where everybody was healthy and <laughs> everybody had economic st stability and those things. Um, so we'll just keep working on that person, people by people, person by person, and, and see what we can do to achieve. If you had to pick one topic to shed more light on or fix in public health, what would that be? Wow, health care insurance. <laughs> I bet we hear that a lot. Yes, um, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Um, you know, it's just broken, and people having access to affordable health care and holistic health care, um, you know, nutrition plays a part in that, in help keeping people um, healthy and just their basics, but then beyond that, mental and physical health care, and it, it's gotten so expensive that it's hard for people to access just basic care. And so I would love for there to be a wonderful fix to that system. Um, what challenges have you come across in public health? Um, I think it's back to access. And um, I, we work a lot with um, safety net clinics and accessing and we here at Open Door, we have a clinic um, uh, medical room where Hunter Health and Grace Med uh, bring professionals in mm -hmm. um, to access that so make it easy uh, to build those relationships and then develop for primary care. Um, so, but that's not always possible for a lot of people, especially shut-ins and those kinds of things. So how can we make health care and holistic, I'm talking about holistic health care, available to all people? Mm -hmm. How did you get your start in your career in public health? Well, <laughs> I'm United Methodist clergy, mm -hmm. and so um, I've always had a passion for social justice and social issues, and I did my internship at um, Open Door, which was then Urban Ministry mm -hmm. in 90s, and then was on the board from there, and then um, in 2001 became the executive director here at Open Door. Wow. Um, what is the best part of your job? <laughs> the best part of my job is in the morning greeting people, um, maybe a homeless person outside the doors and having a good conversation with them, but yet maybe in the afternoon then having a conversation with a business owner or business leader and having some really great opportunities to bridge community. Mm -hmm. Perfect.